understanding how to apply constraints to our database queries is a very important skill to have. By using constraints, we make sure that we are getting only the data that we need, and that can help keep our applications more performant. By the end of this video, you'll understand how to apply constraints to any relationships that we're loading using eager loading. And if you don't know what eager loading is, I've linked to another video down below where I go over that in more detail. Now the code for this demonstration is on GitHub, and that is down below the video as well. If you use my code, make sure you run your migrations first so you have your database set up the way we need it. Once you have all that done, let's get started. Okay, let's begin in our customers controller. You can see in my index method here, I'm getting a list of customers and I'm eager loading each project associated with those customers. Now let's say I want to apply some constraints to this. I'm not interested in every project that this customer has done. I'm only interested in those projects that have not yet been completed. So I can pass in an anonymous function to the with function and then I can put constraints on that query. Now this anonymous function that I pass in automatically receives the projects query. So the subquery that's being generated, projects query. And now that I have access to that, I can call a where method on it and set my constraints. Where completed equals false. Again, I'm only interested in those projects that have not yet been completed. If you look over here, none of my projects have been completed. So I should receive all of my projects with my customer data. Sure enough, they're still there. Now just to prove that I'm not lying, if I change this to true, so I'm only interested in those projects that have been completed, I should have empty project arrays now. All of them are empty. Let's jump over to our database. I'm using MySQL Workbench to manage this. You can use PHP MyAdmin or whatever else you like. I'll change a couple of these to completed. So I set my completed column to one, meaning true. I apply that. Now when I fetch my data, I should have a couple of projects in there. And sure enough, projects for Peter Parker and a project for Bruce Banner. Now I'd like you to pause the video and try one thing on your own. Not only am I only interested in those projects that have not been completed yet, I also want to return tasks for each of those projects. So how would you do that? Pause right now, give it a shot, test it out with Postman to make sure it works, and then come on back. Okay, how did you do? Did you get it working? Let's see how we can do this. There's actually a couple of different ways. We can put a with statement right here, with tasks. And this relationship is already set up in our model files. So that's why this will work. So I can send that. And we can see we have each project with the tasks right here. Again, it's only sending those projects that have not yet been completed. The other way we can do it is to access the query like this again and put our with statement like that. So if you like the way this reads better, then you can do that. If you want to chain it, you can do that as well. And either will work just fine. And that's it. So if you had any trouble with this, please write a question down below and I'll do my best to help. If you like the video, also leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time.